Hi, I'm Ali, and I'm presenting our work with Lucy and Philip on the stability of generative adversarial networks. Look at this image. It is created by a GAN from scratch with high quality and all the details. But we know that graphics engine can create virtual worlds and they can navigate through these worlds, something like this one. So the question is, can we steer in the latent space of GANs and reveal similarly rich environments? Here are some results of our transformations, like camera transformations and color transformations. And we show that GANs can zoom in and out in this image. They can shift this image left and right. They can change the light of this image and reveal some daylight and night. They can explode this volcano. If you think about the space of GANs and how there's this latent space where you can sample these and GANs will map them to the image spaces, then we can think about steering. Suppose there is this direction W, which corresponds to a vertical shift in the image space. Now, if we define our edit or target to be shifted version of the image and try to minimize the loss between the edit and the generated image using this loss, then we can take more steps and resemble more transformations. Alternatively, we can think about a nonlinear function that approximates this walk. Here, we can do something similar to the Euler method, where we can take small steps and recursively take these steps until we reach the transformation that we desire. Cool. So what are the limitations? I mean, look at this balloon. We can send it up and down. But after a while, we hit the plateau and we see some sigmoid effects. Similarly, for this cat, when we want to zoom, why this happens? We hypothesize that this is because GAN has never seen a super zoom version of a cat. Another limitation can be because of the class semantics. For instance, we can take this red car and turn it to a blue one, or we cannot take the red fire truck and turn it to a blue one. Why? Again, because GAN has never seen a blue fire truck. And the architecture maybe does not allow for the, in, this entanglement of this attribute in the case of big GAN. So we perform some experiments to test this hypothesis. First, we want to see if these transformations can extrapolate. So first, we compute the center of the objects that are generated by a GAN, and we plot the density. Then we take these steps in the transformations, for instance, shift, and we see that they can shift the distribution of the images. And the more steps that we take, further we can shift the distribution until we hit the plateau. And after that, we fall off the manifold of the natural images. We can do for different directions. We can do it for different transformations. Another question is, what is the, diff uh, what is the relationship between data variability and the extent of these transformations? Here we plot sigma, which is the data variability, versus the how easy you can transform. And we show two extreme cases with these two black dots for Robin and the laptop. Because there are more examples of laptops with different sizes and different uh, distances of camera to these laptops, we can see that we can zoom them more, more than robins, where we prefer to see specific crops of these birds. We can do this for different transformations as well. Now, the question is, how can we overcome the limitations? So far, we have shown you what we here see as the blue curve. But what is this blue curve? This is the error between the transform and the target. So if we want to bring it down, one way is to think about how to extend the data variability. So we can do, for instance, data augmentation, and the result is the orange one. But you can do further, you can do the augmentation and simultaneously join uh, the train of the G or GAN and the walk. 
And you can see the result in the green one. And we can show the result for different transformations. To summarize, we can manipulate images using vector in the latent space. The data variability governs transformation effects, and data augmentation increases transformation rate. You can check the code on the website. Thank you.